and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about lyric cycles and the sale that they have going on right now. And I don't know how long this is lasting for, so hurry as quick as you can to get these deals. Hopefully they haven't gone yet since I started this video here and posted it. But uh, they're having a sale on their website for their bikes for 15% off if you purchase uh, a bundle with the bike. So you'll get a 15% off. And I'm riding the Lyric Graffiti right now, the original Lyric Graffiti. So since then they've now had a new version of the Lyric Graffiti. They have the 2023 version and they have the bike that I purchased and I'm waiting on getting a delivery, which should be in the next four weeks or so, four or five weeks. And that's the Graffiti X. Can't wait for that one. And you know, I was just checking out some of the uh, parts to that bike. And if you were to put together your own bike, like customize a bike, it's expensive. If you're gonna buy a bike, buy a frame, and start from the ground up and construct your own bike. It's not cheap. Um, all of those parts on that bike are going to add up quickly uh, and be more expensive than buying a bike that's already uh, put together. Um, so that's why I like this uh, Lyric Graffiti X. And the price now is $4,600, so it's definitely gone up uh, compared to the price I paid, but there was no tariff, 25% uh, increase like there is now for imports, so uh, it's different. And uh, But taking the 15% off is definitely going to help you get it below 4000 I think. 4000 is more of the fair price. 46 would have me pausing for just a moment. Still a good bike, mind you, but I think to me, the price that they had it at before this increase, not their fault, of course, seemed to be more of the fair price to me. The 4000 seemed like a fair price. Um, but when you add up the parts, like I say, I was looking at, for example, the controller. Of course, I'm, I'm looking at regular suggested price. I'm not looking at wholesale prices or anything like that. Of course, companies, if they buy a bunch of them, are going to get a discounted price. I know that. But still, if an individual person is going to buy that uh, controller for the bike, it's the I or ASI. Um, BAC 2000 and that controller just the controller for the bike is running at $1,400 so you got $1,400 for that and then the battery for the bike is $1,599 so let's say $1,600 and $1,400 that's $3,000 right there just for the battery and the controller that's not counting the motor the wheels the brakes the lights the frame you know everything so and i'm i'm more of the person that when i buy the bike i want to be able to ride it i don't want to buy it and then think about putting a different motor on there, a different controller on there. But with this bike, there's no need to modify it. It's gonna have everything. It's a 60 volt, 
I mean, I'd like to someday have a 72 volt, but I want to see what the 60 volt is like. Um, by all indications, this bike might be it. I mean, it's as close um, to my uh, perfect bike so far that I uh, know of. Um, yeah, something else I should mention is the uh, suspension. You know, all these things are going to cost you money, so it's going to come out to be a heck of a lot more than even the $4,600. Um, so when you break it down that way, that's sometimes how I do it. I break it down and think, well, how much is this, is it a fair price? How much is this stuff going to cost if you're individually buying the parts? And, um, and I want to ride it. I don't want to take time to mess around with the bike uh, mechanically. I'm more of a rider than a fixer-upper. I want to go and ride the thing. That's where I find the most fun. I just want a good bike and be able to ride that good bike. But some people, I know they always like to tinker with it. I mean, there's some things that the bike's going to need when I get at the Graffiti X. It's going to need mirrors, for example. And I'm likely going to get the uh, rear rack. And uh, foam mount. Those are the things uh, right away, and I don't think there's going to be too much beyond that that I'm going to need. I just want to get used to the bike a little bit and see what it's like. Because you can listen to all other people's opinions on the bike, watch them ride it, just like you're watching me ride the graffiti right now. But until you yourself get on it, I mean, I can tell you right now, this is smooth. The smoothest bike I've ever ridden in my life is this one. And that's why I'm eager and excited to get the Graffiti X because I think it's going to ride even more smoother than this one because it's going to have that full suspension. This one only has a front suspension and uh, fat tires. So, um, so I have a, an idea already about what Lyric cycles has to offer with their bikes and so I got a bit of a head start knowing that and what to expect so and that's probably why for me it was like a no-brainer to uh, to get this bike when it came available So I'll leave a link in the description for the Lyric Graffiti X if you want to check it out. And I, like I say, I don't know how long that sale is for, but... Making sure that guy was going to stop. So I'm recording this video on Sunday, September the 1st. So this video is going to go up tomorrow, which is September the 2nd. So I'd like to wish everybody out there a happy Labor Day 2024. Boy, the summer has gone by so quickly. It's hard to believe that we're already into September. And uh, for those of you that do not like to ride in the hot weather you're probably going to like September and October a lot better but the downside is it means you're moving into the winter season coming up and your ride time is going to get cut unless you don't mind riding in the winter and it probably depends on where you're at as to whether you want to ride in the winter or not like if I lived in Michigan for example or Minnesota I wouldn't be riding my bike in the winter or I'd pick my spots but if you live in California, Arizona, Texas or Oregon even, heck yeah. 
I might pick my spots a little bit more this year, but... I'll still be out there riding for sure. But I'm going to be a little bit cautious as far as... I don't want to ride in the ice. If we get snow, because sometimes we don't. Last year we did, but if we get snow... Depending on what it's like out there, if it's not too deep or anything, yeah, I'll, I'll do a video just for the sake of doing a video to show you that it can be done riding in the snow. And uh, I have done previous videos on riding in snow. If you want to go check those out, uh, just check for riding in snow and ice or something like that, I called it. And you'll see those videos of me riding in the winter and in snowy conditions or icy it can be a little bit dangerous and tricky you, you can't ride fast that's for sure gotta take it really easy but it can be done So yeah, I wanted to talk about two things in this video, uh, the Graffiti X and putting together your own customized electric bike. If you're thinking of doing that, just be aware of the cost of the uh, parts before you ever venture into doing that. Check out the price of some of the parts like the motor, the controller, the battery. The battery is the big one and the controller can be a big one too. Uh, depending on the quality of bike you're putting together and if you're putting the, together a bit more powerful of a bike then yeah get ready to pay a little bit a lot <laughs> all right well that's going to do it for this video if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit the notification bell and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel thank you very much for doing that just hit the subscribe button and if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave that in the comments below maybe you can let me know if you've put together a customized uh, right from the ground up uh, your own bike and did it cost you a lot maybe uh, give us a shout about that and uh, anything else you want to uh, make a comment on on the uh, channel, go ahead and do that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.